Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to remove ransomware. Nowadays, where technology has dominated basically everything, the chances of being targeted by a cyber attack are super high. And among the most dangerous of these threats is ransomware, a malicious piece of software that encrypts your system and demands payment for the release. And understanding how to remove such a cyber threat would protect you from facing the daunting choice of either biting the bullet and paying whatever the criminal demands or finding a way to break free. And so I'll be giving you a comprehensive guide on the necessary steps to remove ransomware that both individuals and organizations can take. But before we get into that, it's important to note that one of the cornerstones of ransomware prevention and any other type of malware, as a matter of fact, is using a reliable antivirus. So if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below along with some discounts. So make sure to check those out. Okay, so before diving into removal strategies, it's really important to understand the nature of ransomware. Unlike traditional malware that might merely disrupt or damage systems, ransomware operates with an even more sinister agenda. It encrypts files, rendering them inaccessible and then presents a ransom demand, usually in cryptocurrency for the decryption key. The motives behind ransomware attacks range from financial gain to political or ideological reasons. But regardless of the motive, the impacts on victims can be devastating, and it could lead to financial fraud, identity theft, extortion, and all sorts of horrible consequences. While the focus on this video is on removal, Prevention is still undeniably the first line of defense against ransomware, and so implementing effective cybersecurity practices can significantly reduce the risk of infection. Regularly updating operating systems and software, employing reputable antivirus programs, and educating users about phishing scams are some of the most important preventative measures you can take. Also, data backups stored in an isolated environment would give you a way out by restoring files without answering to any of these ransom demands. Next, we have the recognition of a ransomware infection, which is essential for starting the removal process as fast as possible. Common signs include a sudden inability to access files the appearance of ransom notes demanding payment, and changes to file extensions. Some ransomware strains even change desktop backgrounds or display threatening messages. And so, early detection can mitigate the damage and increase the chances of successful removal. Once a ransomware infection is identified, you should immediately isolate the infected system. And that's because disconnecting the infected device from the network can prevent the ransomware from spreading to other connected devices. This step is just as important for containing the infection and limiting the potential damage to data and systems. The next step in the removal process involves using specialized antivirus and anti-malware tools. Reputable security software are designed to detect and eliminate ransomware, making them irreplaceable in the fight against these sort of threats. And that's because experts regularly update antivirus databases to make sure that the software is equipped to recognize the latest ransomware variant. Performing a full system scan can uncover and eliminate the malicious code, restoring the system to a pre-infection state. With that being said, in some cases, ransomware may resist removal attempts in normal operating mode. And so you can try booting the infected system into safe as it loads only essential drivers and processes, minimizing the impact of the ransomware. In this safe mode, you can freely run antivirus scans and attempt to remove the malicious software. Another option would be using System Restore, as it allows you to revert the system to a previous state before the ransomware infection happened. This can effectively eliminate the ransomware, but be careful as some sophisticated variants may disable or delete these restore points. Now, before we move on to the next step, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files. 
the Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint, instant data leak notifications with Surfshark Alert, and Surfshark Alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. Alright, so the main issue you might face if you fall victim to a ransomware attack is whether or not you pay the ransom to regain access to their files. However, answering ransom demands would not only fund criminal activities but also offer no guarantee of file recovery. So as an alternative, you can try using decryption tools provided by cybersecurity companies and law enforcement agencies. These tools specific to certain ransomware strains can unlock encrypted files without payment. You can also find a lot of these tools on the No More Ransom project website. Now in complicated ransomware scenarios where it can be challenging to remove the ransomware by yourself, you should definitely ask for professional assistance. Cybersecurity experts and incident response teams have the necessary expertise to analyze the ransomware identify vulnerabilities, and develop tailored strategies for removal. Also, try contacting law enforcement agencies so that they can investigate the incident and apprehend the criminals behind it. And finally, after successfully removing ransomware, the final step involves learning from the experience to improve defense against future threats. Conducting a post-incident analysis would help you identify the entry point of the ransomware, whether through a phishing email, unpatched software, or other vulnerabilities. And so, implementing lessons learned, improving cybersecurity protocols, and consistently educating users on cybersecurity best practices would contribute to a powerful defense against evolving cyber threats. And that's it for today's video on the steps needed for ransomware removal. Don't forget that the first line of defense against ransomware and other types of malware is using a reliable antivirus. So if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below along with some discounts. So make sure to check those out. Also, if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. And that will be all for today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.